Assalamu alaikum dear student hope you are well by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NIBS home school I am Bilal Hussain assistant teacher of mathematics of national ideal English version school Deshi student look today our topic is 9.8 exercise 2 page now 120 legs are now 15 and is there now 7 Look, student, question number 5. Convert the fractions into decimals and decimals into fractions. Look, this uh, all these questions are taken from your book, page number 120. Okay? 9.8 exercise 2. Okay, student? That means the, uh, you see, one long. 2 long 3 4 4 is 0 0.6 3 3 by 4 okay you see according to the questions convert the fractions into decimals that way you see this is the fraction so you have to convert this into decimals and you see 0 0.6 this is the decimals so you have to convert this into fraction okay look this is 3 by 25, so we have to convert this into decimals. Look, can we multiply uh, both numerator and denominator by 4? 25 into 4. Look, 25 into 4. 25 into 4 equal to what? 100. And 3 fourths are 12. Now we have to convert this into decimals that means you see 1 2 that means 2 0 so you have to write like this way 1 2 that means point you have to give 0 ok similarly 17 by 50 you see 17 into uh, 15 if we multiply both numerator and denominator by 2 then you get what 17 to the 34 and 50 into 2 equal to what? 100. Okay, student. Similarly, look here. You see 1, 0, 2, 0. Okay. So, we have to divide 34 by 100. How can? This is the short method, student. 1, 0, 2, 0. That means, at first you write here 34. Then, 1, 2. Then, put here decimal and give here 0. Ok? Now, question number 3. Look here, 3 by 4. 3 by 4. You have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 25. 25. Look, if we multiply 25 with 4, then it becomes 100. Ok? And 25 into 3 equal to what? 70. 5. Okay? This is 75. Student, you observe here. Why I have multiplied uh, here 25 in the first case 2, in the first case uh, in another case 4. Why? Because I have to write in sase from that they make 100. Okay? And if we make it 100 from then our division will be easier. Okay? So we have to convert like this way. Now see 100, how many zero? 2 zero. So, you have to write at first 75, then 1, 2, then put here 0. Okay, student, look in another process. If you divide 4 by 3, then it makes so much difficult. Like, look, 3 by 4, like this way. At first, you have to take the point. For point, we take here 0. Then what? 4 7 are 28. Okay? Then 2 for point we have to take here 0. Now 4 5 are 20. Okay? This is another process also. Okay? This is another process. Okay? But uh, between this process and this process, this process is easier. Okay? Now see question number 4. 
this is the decimals 0.6 now we have to convert this into fractions look how can at first write here it is a number 6 then for point we have to take here 1 for number or for any digit you have to write here 0 then you get here 6 by 10 this is a fraction but we have to convert uh, this is a, this is a one type of fraction but we can reduce this okay if possible please uh, reduce this like we say uh, if we divide both numerator and denominator by 2 then we get what divide this by 2 then you get what 3 similarly divide 10 by 2 then you get 5 then we can write 3 by 5 and this process is uh, very good for you ok student look again uh, 6 and 10 you have to divide this by at first 2 then you get 3 then divide 10 by 2 then you get 5 after we have got 3 by 5 ok student uh, listen uh, try to understand about uh, reduced because uh, in the previous time I observed that many of the students they didn't understand reducing process ok and reducing process is very, very important for upper classes ok student now look this is 0 0.25 0 0.25 we have to write like this way at first write 25 then what? 4 point right here 1 for 2 0 for 5 0 ok now this is 25 and this is 100 we can reduce 25 by 25 and 100 by also 25 ok divide 25 by 25 then we get 1 similarly divide 100 by 25 then you get what 4 that means our result will be what 1 by 4 ok student now see question now 6 0 0.075 look the same procedure at first write 75 then look for point we have to take here 1 for 0 0 for 7 0 for 5 0 look student again look for point right here 1 for 0 0 for 7 0 for 5 0 for after point you have to take for any digit you write 0 ok only for decimal you write here 1 now uh, this is a uh, difficult for you but you have to try look you see the ones place number is 5 here and the ones place is 0 so this is also divisible by divisible by 5 ok you can reduce uh, uh, taking the small digit ok again you see this is 75 we can divide this by what 25 ok look if we divide 75 by 25 then you get what 3 now consider there is no 0 suppose there is you consider there is no 0 ok then divide 100 by 25 then you get what then you get what 24 ok but actually there is uh, 0 is present so put here 0 understood student so our result will be what 3 by 40 now write here 3 by 40 okay student i hope you understood uh, today's topic now i would like to talk with about uh, talk with you about sw topic look sw norm 7 okay you see this uh, vertical calculation in page norm 120 Page number 120, question number 4. Look, one number is addition, 
टू नंबर इज ऑल्सो एडिशन एट नंबर इज सब्रेक्शन नाइन नंबर इज ऑल्सो सब्रेक्शन डेयर स्टूडेंट इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई आई हैव टॉट यू हाउ कैन यू डू द एडिशन ऑफ डिसमल एंड सब्रेक्शन ऑफ डिसमल ओके यूजिंग दैट इंफॉर्मेशन एंड यूजिंग दैट नॉलेज यू हैव टू सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ कैलकुलेशन ओके स्टूडेंट Yes, student. You have to submit this H W copy on Saturday within 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And you collect this H W copy on next Saturday. Yes, student. No more today. You keep practicing at home. Stay safe. Stay well. See you again.